Today is Sunday uh, the 21st of June 2015 at 6 p.m. local time New Zealand and uh, as you can see I'm uh, zoomed in on the moon and I've got the camera set to manual focus and manual exposure. So the moon's phase is just uh, a couple of days old uh, today and uh, what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is how changing the exposure setting on the camera will cause the moon uh, to look a lot thicker um, than it really is. Um, so first of all I'm going to zoom out because uh, this effect will be more obvious if I do. Okay so that is with the camera set uh, correctly with the manual focus set to infinity and the exposure setting uh, so, that the cam so that the moon is not overexposed. So what I'm going to do now is adjust the exposure setting um, upwards uh, so that we overexpose the moon and you'll see what happens. Here we go, adjusting it now. And you can see that the moon is thickening up, it appears to be a lot thicker uh, than the original crescent that we started filming with. And you'll notice too that we can see the, um, the dark part of the moon there. Now that the camera is overexposed you can see the, um, the dark area of, of the moon. <coughs> now what we're seeing there is actually reflected, uh, reflected light from the earth so we've got sunlight that's bouncing off the mainly the clouds of the earth and that is bouncing back to the, uh, to the dark side of the moon and illuminating that area that's not getting uh, direct sunlight. Remember um, there is, is no um, dark side of the moon as such uh, all, all sides of the moon do get sunlight depending on where the moon is in its phase um, but at the moment we're looking at the dark area that's not uh, getting direct sunlight. Um, so I'm going to adjust the exposure downwards again now and we'll see that crescent come back as it should and I'm going to take it right down to the other extreme and see what happens. Okay so that's right down at its lowest point now and we've still maintained that crescent phase so um, I'm just going to zoom that, um, adjust that back up again so it's overexposed and just play with the zoom a little bit and see how that makes things appear. So I'm zooming out and that seems to exaggerate that effect as I zoom out. So let's hold it there and I'll adjust that exposure setting uh, back downwards all the way down and you can see our thin crescent has come back and let's take it all the way up the other way and the point of this video of course is to show that um, the, the video in the KCRA 3 News report that Marshall Masters was using was in fact a Venus in a crescent phase which is normal for Venus and especially on that date 23rd of January 2014 uh, Venus was in the phase it should be as shown in that news video it was not Nibiru eclipsing Venus, it was just Venus in a, um, in a crescent phase, just as it should be. So there we have it, um, that's today's moon, 21st of June 2015. Uh, the time now is, let me see, 2 minutes past 6, local time New Zealand. And uh, one more time I'll adjust the exposure up and exaggerate it. There we go, you can see the dark side of the moon as well the dark area of the moon, I should stop calling it the dark side of the moon because there is no dark side of the moon and uh, let me just zoom in again and all the way and adjust that exposure down and we should get a fairly clear view of the moon, there we go Now while I'm here, let's um, back this right off and just to prove that this is the 21st of June, not an older video, let's um, I've zoomed that out, let's adjust the exposure back up again and what do we see coming into view? We've got Venus and Jupiter, so Venus is the bright one at the bottom, Jupiter is the uh, one that's not so bright in the middle underneath the moon and of course you can check this using Stellarium or any good astronomy program uh, for the 21st of June 
6pm as seen from New Zealand and you will see that this is the configuration uh, that you should see in your Stellarium program just as I'm seeing here. Venus on the bottom, Jupiter in the middle, Moon on the top. And uh, now that I'm zoomed out let's adjust that exposure right down and you'll see that Venus and Jupiter disappear because the camera is not bright enough. You'll see that Venus is still there but Jupiter's is um, not bright enough to be seen. So there we have it, exposure settings makes all the difference. Let's back up again.